I should also let you know, um, even though that sale price goes away, we are holding that sale price in that auto ship, and that's the only auto ship of the entire show. So, Mike, we got lots of good things uh, planned, and as always, great to have you here. Um, so, uh, should we just dive right in, my friend? Well, why wouldn't we? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are we starting this hour of time off with? Oh, it's the Morgan. What's going on here? Well, <laughs> this is a weird little deal. <clears throat> so, 2021, <clears throat> excuse me, from a Silver Eagle standpoint, of course, is historic. Well, the United States Mint decides to go ahead while they're in the midst of the most historic change in the most historic coin ever made by their, you know, or most popular coin <clears throat> made by the United States Mint, to also, it so happens that 2021 is the 100th anniversary of the last year of the Morgan Silver Dollar. So the United States Mint announces that they are going to do a series of commemorative Morgan Silver Dollars that are going to be the same design as the original Morgan Silver Dollar, which was last made in 1921. It's fortuitous that they're basically, the, you know, 100 years apart right here. The last year of issue of the American Silver Eagle with the heraldic design, the last year of issue of the Morgan Silver Dollar period are 100 years apart. They're going to be making a bunch of 2021 commemorative Morgan silver dollars. So what's going to that's going to do is all of the original coins from 1921 are going to be highly incredibly phenomenally sought after. Now this was all before anything that silver all right is is up for grabs. Uh, you know, anything that's silver. So what this is, is that last year of the Morgan silver dollar, this is a two-coin set, and these are brilliant uncirculated. As you can see, they're certified brilliant uncirculated. It is the last year of the heraldic eagle, the heraldic design uh, silver eagle by the United States government. It is the last year of issue of the original Morgan silver dollar, not reprinted, restruck, or redone in any way, shape, or form. And I've got the pair for only $199.95, both certified, both in original, brilliant, um, gem brilliant, uncirculated condition. Well, and you, well, you actually, gosh, it's like you were reading my mind, which is a dark and scary place, to be sure. Uh, <laughs> be, because when you, when you look at these coins, you almost have to keep reminding yourself, 1921, 1921, 1921. Because um, I was a film major. You were a historian. I was a film major. And I actually, you know, cut my teeth on films that were made in the 20s. And trust me, the films didn't hold up so well. The fact that, because, <laughs> and that's when, well right? right, as, you know, listen. All bets are off with me. I don't care what cream I use. But when you look at these, you do have to put that in perspective. So um, condition, condition, condition. And I, I know you do all the, the specifics and the basics of coin collecting. But when you look at these, I don't think if, if you if you weren't looking at that number on your screen, I don't think there's anybody watching the show who go, wow, that coin, it's it's 100 years old. <laughs> you know, it's like you just. Well, that's the thing, because now, right now, today, just regular Morgan silver dollars, what we call, you know, just circulated Morgans 1921. I mean, within the last two weeks, they've doubled in price. Well, the really nice ones, I mean, these are things that people really, really want. I mean, you know, not only do you want the last year of issue of the Silver Eagle in brilliant uncirculated condition, which is now completely sold out, but how about the 1921 Morgan Silver Dollar, which has been sold out for 100 years, not reprinted, restruck, or redone in any way, shape, or form, 100% original, all the way through and through. You get both coins. That's not $199 each. That's $199 for the pair. I was putting these together for about two years anticipating this. I mean, you know, these centennials, the United States government always does a nice job with the centennial of, of particular coins. And the Morgan was eagerly, eagerly anticipated. And by the, you know, the beginning of December last year, they had still not passed the authorizing legislation. And we thought that there just might not be any of the Morgan silver, uh, uh, you know, silver Morgan uh, commemorative coins. And then basically the last week of December, they passed, or the second last week of December, they passed the authorizing legislation for the United States Mint to be able to do silver coins. They're going to do about Philadelphia and Denver and San Francisco, uh, New Orleans and Carson City are going to be represented by privy marks. And as those new coins come out and are going to be ridiculously popular, 
everybody's going to want to go back and get the bookend, the first, you know, the last first, you know, the 1921 to go with the 2021. Get yours now before it really, I mean, you know, like I said, before it really gets crazy, like it could be any crazier than it was today in the coin business. Like I said, almost every coin dealer I know had the biggest day they've ever had in, in their history as a, as a coin dealer. Well, it's a big deal. And, you know, I, I know this is kind of um, belaboring the obvious, but you are getting both <laughs> just you know just right. just just to be clear now this is the back of the coin of course but you are getting both and i just i have to keep saying that because um whenever i do coin shows with mike you know it's like a choice of or this or that you know you you are getting both and once more i know that's being pretty grandiose in 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 that ex explanation but you are getting the morgan and the silver so you are getting both for that 199 dollar 95 cent price so do the math that's that's a great deal a great deal um and then of course you still get flex pay and our unconditional money back guarantee so just you know i i know we've got a lot of choices and there's a lot of information but i just i, I really want to encourage you to shop when you do see things I, I um mike you know this is true more than anybody uh a lot of uh people who watch the coin collectors they tape your shows they watch your shows they go back and they they shop after the fact we have a lot of things during this last hour of prime time um what, for this monday night where i would just really encourage you if you can act quickly you should do so especially because we have a 30-day unconditional money back guarantee as as you know so mike we're going to continue let's talk more about morgan silvers well, this is just the 1921. Now, here's the key to this coin. It's not just that it's just the 1921, the last year of issue, but it's it's in incredibly high grade. This is a mint state 65. And I know people here that buy a lot of modern issue coins from us are are used to mint state 70s. We sell a lot of mint state 70s, mint state 69s, occasionally mint state 68s. And they're not necessarily used to vintage coins because, I mean, you know, the vintage coins are disappearing. I mean, you know, collectors buy them and they put them away and they don't, they, you know, they, they only come out a few at a time. In the Morgan Silver Dollar, Mint State 65 is considered an extraordinarily high grade. Extraordinarily high grade. If you wanted to buy a Mint State 70 Morgan Silver Dollar, you couldn't because not a single solitary one exists. If you wanted to buy a Mint State 69 Morgan Silver Dollar, I think there's about three dozen in existence. A six figures is the starting price for the cheapest one. When you get down to Mint State 68, you're only going to spend somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, you know twenty to fifty thousand dollars for a Mint State 68. Mint State 67s are thousands of dollars. So to be able to get a Mint State 65 at $169, so what you do is you get the last year of issue of the Morgan. You get it in an exceptionally high grade, but it's the last grade that's still affordable. Okay, that's still affordable. By the time you look at Mint State 66, you're really starting to look, you know, you're really, really, really starting to look at a, at a much bigger number at 66, 67, you know, any of those. Now you're beginning to look at tremendously, tremendously uh, more money when you're going to when you're going to do with that, you know. Well, and it's it's exceedingly limited. That's one of the reasons that you see that um, quantity left counter that was just on your screen, and then that that limited time allocation as well. Remember, quantity left does not take into consideration the manner and mode and method in which people are calling. In which case, we have hundreds of, of, of you joining us. Still, that 30-day return policy with no back order, with no wait list. And Mike, I got to tell you, like I said, there's a little something for everybody in this last power hour, last 50 minutes of this prime time appearance with my. Mike Mizak. When you do see those quantity left counters, though, just be aware those are the ones, if you had to prioritize your shopping tonight, those are the ones that I would really ask or encourage you or recommend that you shop now as opposed to later. Because remember, you still get that 30 day return policy, but those are the ones that um, you really do want to strike while the iron is hot. So we will let you know when that's completely gone as we anticipate that it will be 742626. Okay, we are moving along. We've got lots to get to in this next, um, as I keep saying, uh, power hour. Hey, Mike, just uh, out of curiosity, I know this is a little early to ask this. Um, what is your next primetime show? Uh, is it not for a couple weeks, or what's going on with oh, that? Oh, thank you for asking, Shannon. We have it, actually, we have a today, we're going to have a coin 
special presentation. Today's special value, February the 16th. Are you really? Just got scheduled. I have got a coin thing that I'm the only place in the world you're going to be able to get it. It is absolutely, positively one of the coolest things I've ever been able to sell in the history of coins. It will be available on February the 16th. We are going to launch it. We're going to sell it out. And it's going to be one of the most spectacular coin days we have ever had. So... To answer well, your question, February 16th. I'm, I'm glad I asked. Well, I, th I, th I think I'm on the air that day. You'll, you'll be my post-Valentine. And since your wife is also a Midwesterner, you know, yeah. she'll share you with me, I guess, on that day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that, that's very cool. Like I said, I'm glad I asked. Okay. Well, I'm asking about this one. I know I got the big green box out here, so we'll, we'll you know, showcase that next. But what's the story with this, this S&W Mint? Well, remember the S&W Mint that we sold out in the first hour, NGC? Yeah. This is the Annex version in first day of issue. Gotcha. Exclusive to us, okay? Exclusive to us, limited edition of 2021. And what I really need to get, if it's possible, is the quantity left. Because it, it ain't a lot. So what we've got, I got 127, or 327. My eyes are horrible. 327 out of 2021. That's what we have. I'm going to sell it out right here, right now. Okay, so we have 327 pairs. These are exclusive to us here at HSA. You can't buy them anywhere else. All of the Annex first day of issue is 100% exclusive to us here at HSN. These are match numbered sets. So this is the same thing. If you could flip that over. We don't necessarily need to see the reverse. What we need to do is see the two obverses because it's, in essence, a two-coin set, if you will, because you have the S-minute coin and the W-minute coin. So let's go back from a, from a uh, numismatic standpoint. The United States government announces that in 2020, at the end of 2019, that they're going to change the design of the American Silver Eagle in 2021. We assumed that would be at the beginning of 2021, as did the Mint. Well, between 2019 and 2021, like I said, we had a little little, little, little hitch in our get-along there, 2020. And 2020 changed everything. It shut down the West Point Mint. It shut down the San Francisco Mint. It shut down the Denver Mint. made the Philadelphia Mint work at reduced capacity for most of the year. So basically, the United States Mint was simply not able to put everything together so they could release the brand new design in 2021. So they decide to carry over the old design, the Type 1 design, the Heraldic Eagle design, for the first six months of 2021. And that's what these coins are. This is the last of the era. These are the 2021 absolutely perfect Mint State 70 coins. And they're made, and the, and the Mint State coins are made at the West Point Mint. And that's what we had. And then they figured out very, very, very quickly that they couldn't make enough coins. It was absolutely positively impossible. They asked their sister men at San Francisco, can you help out a bit? And they said yes. And they made, I guess, about an additional 5% of the quantity of coins available. The problem is that the San Francisco men isn't as good at making Silver Eagles as the West Point men. So they grade horribly. They grade horribly. Only maybe one in five, one in six coins is going to grade absolutely perfect mint state 70. And so we put together 2,021 pairs. And this is for the pair of coins at $249.95. Both of them first day of issue. Both of them first day of issue. Both of them this set is 100% exclusive to us here at HSN. And if you look at that, Look at the uh, box, and we have the beautiful steel case presentation box as well to be able to do this. So I've aired this, I think, one other time, tw two other times. I have 300 sets left. Now, in this particular instance, it's not an issue of, you know, getting more coins or price or anything else. Once our first day of issue sells out, that's it. I mean, it's a numbered limited edition. There are 2,021. There's not a single solitary additional coin. It doesn't matter price, availability, nothing like that. What has happened, though, is this was my original price. 
when I when I debuted this three weeks ago. This was before the ridiculous run in the price of silver that happened within the last 72 hours. This is before we found out that all of the authorized purchasers are, in essence, out of American Silver Eagle. This was before we found out that the San Francisco Eagles are gone completely and totally sold out through all 12 of the authorized purchasers and only available, in essence, on the secondary market. Before all of that, our price was 249 And one of the reasons people shop here, we have tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of customers here at HSN, is that's our price now. That was our price for 2021 sets. We owned those coins at the old price, 20% silver ago. You know, uh, the premiums have tripled since then. My price has gone up not a single solitary cent for these remaining less than 300 sets now. Now, if I were to put these together non-first day of issue, which is just an additional designator of value, you know, usually first day of issues oftentimes sell for more money. If I were to put together the W and S set right now, I'd probably be two ninety nine. Because in the marketplace right now, the price on these coins have gone up about forty percent. Something like that. The ungraded, uncertified coins are probably no, they're not quite that much. More like twenty five percent. More. So if I had to add twenty five percent to the price of this, do the math, we're looking at two ninety nine at the very at the very minimum. So I would jump on this right now because more importantly, not only do I have the coins, these are coins ready to go. As you can see, if we get in close on those, I'm pretty sure we can see that we have 2021 coins there, which is kind of a really big deal, as a matter of fact, so that you can see the 2021 coins are out there. These are the coins. This is the transition coin. Now, remember, they're only making these for the first six months of the year. They're only making these for the first six months of the year. If they made them for 16 months, they couldn't keep up. And that was before, like I said, the silver craziness. And, and I keep referring to that for those of you that are just tuning in. What happened was is you have a lot of people starting to kind of buy silver. It's kind of some of these, these you know, kind of the crazy, uh, not a crazy, they're just uh, outside the box thinking folks on Reddit that have decided that silver might be the next thing after GameStop or whatever the stock thing was. Okay, and so just by virtue of them talking about it, we've had a run in silver unlike anything I have ever seen in my entire, all my years in the business. All my years in the business, I have never, ever, ever seen anything like this that has happened because of silver. But this is not just silver. These are the last coins. These are the legacy coins in the American Silver Eagle series from 1986 until today. Okay, from 1986 until today, these are those coins as what we've got right there. And that is what is kind of crucially important for you to understand what your opportunity is to own this piece and part of numismatic history. For sure. And Mike, I just need to interject real quickly. Um, under normal circumstances, I'd ask my producer, Kevin, if we could spend a little more time, but I can't do that because with the couple hundred that remain, we actually have far fewer of this W and S minted set than we did of the W and S minted set from last hour that sold out in um, actually a shorter amount of time than they had planned. So with the little more than 200 that we have remaining, doesn't take into consideration the manner and mode and method in which people are ordering. We have far fewer of this than we did of the W&S Mint set, uh, set that sold out last hour. Remember, it is the set. It is the, the duo, le duo. It is both the S and the W Mint. $83.32 on FlexPay, 750199. Uh, of course, that presentation box. But just remember, um, when we do, whenever you see a particular coin with a quantity left during this power hour, those are the ones in particular I would recommend recommend that you join us when you see it just to ensure that you get it because we know that this is also going to be a complete and entire sellout as well with no back order and no wait list so thank you so much for your orders we've got more to come with mike mizak um, we're gonna do a little time out but uh kevin is it time can i share our secret 
Okay, good things come to those who click, and HSN is giving you something special. It's an online-only secret sale. All you need is a secret phrase. Today is spoil yourself. As a secret phrase says, spoil yourself with some amazing deals. That means 30% off top clearance picks, and all you have to do is go to hsn.com and type in that phrase, spoil yourself, into the search bar, and that will reveal today's secret sale. Of course, the sales are good for a limited time, so you definitely want to act quickly. All right, uh, continue to act quickly on your W and S Mint. Remember, final 200 there. We've got some more goodies planned for you as the Power Hour in Primetime continues. What really separates a house from a home? A home should provide comfort, coziness, and convenience. Join me on Monday nights where I'll be giving you great ideas for your home, your kitchen, and your life. HSN price is a great value that we bring to you every day. We work hard and have the buying power to make sure it's a value that you'll love. So go ahead, treat yourself with the confidence to buy now at the HSN price. Hey, welcome into HSN. I hope you're having a great Monday. And even if you aren't, those clouds are going to clear thanks to our King of Coins. Mike Mizak is here for a rare primetime appearance. He's got good things coming your way post Valentine's Day, too. He kind of let the secret out of the box, uh, Pandora's box, the green box. We'll talk about that in a second. Mike, always good to have you here. Um, uh, oh, incidentally, and I, I know you'll see it in the corner of your screen. If you are joining us, um, we had a W and S mint set on the Silver Eagle that sold out last hour. We have one that I think, Kevin, you said fewer than 200 of. Okay. Okay, fewer than 200 on the um, W and S mint set from this hour. So I know that's gonna be a full sellout as well. You'll see that in the corner of your screen. So let's start off this segment of time, uh, Mike. First of all, the name alone, and I, I, I always say, um, Please, if you're watching HSM for the first time, stop what you're doing for just the next even five or 10 minutes because you're going to want to hear all the things that Mike has to say. You're, there's, he's going he's gonna to explain it to you. But when I look at the title of this alone, now every mom watching is saying, okay, emergency, is that like 911? Is that like my you know, fire extinguisher in my kitchen? Is that my, you know, the Band-Aids that I have for my kids? What in the world is an emergency silver eagle? There's, uh, is there a coin emergency going on? What's the story? Yeah, there's a coin emergency going on. <laughs> they can't make enough coins. This is, this is emblematic of what's happening in the industry right now. Uh, this was, until four hours ago, I wasn't 100% sure I could get this in the show. And the reason was, is we bought plenty of investment coins, but they're grading so poorly, so poorly. We, I didn't know if we could do the entire edition. We graded tens of thousands of coins. So the United States, like I said, they decided to change the design on the American Silver Eagle in 2021. We thought it would be at the beginning of the year, but they decided they're going to do the old design for the first half of the year, the new design for the second half of the year. So this is that last, you know, you know, last six months of production, the 2021 in the last six months of production is what this particular coin is. But it's not just any one of those coins. The W mint in this coin was our today's special value. We sold 13,500 of those coins in a single day. I think the HSN price was exactly the same as this. Sold 13,500 of these. What this coin is, is when the United States government finally realized as they're making these 2021 Silver Eagles, they decided, because they make all the mint state coins at the, at the West Point there, <clears throat> they found out and figured out fairly quickly, that they simply absolutely positively could not make enough coins. It wouldn't even be close. They would be hideously, horribly behind, and they still are. And so they said to the San Francisco Mint, their sister mint, they said, could you make some silver eagles for us? 
And the San Francisco man says, yes, we can do a single run of Silver Eagle, this last Silver Eagle, the last San Francisco. And it's, and it's apropos because the San Francisco men made the first Mint State Silver Eagle in 1986. So now they made the last one. Now, the thing with this is, is they didn't make an equal number to the West Point men. As a matter of fact, for every probably 20 West Point minted coins or 25 West Point minted coins, there's going to be one San Francisco minted coin. There's going to be one San Francisco minted coin, and that's what this is. This is that special emergency issue. They had to jump in and help out the West Point men. That was the emergency. So they made this one single batch of... Uh, a single tranche, we call it, in the business, a single allocation. It was released out to the authorized purchasers and completely and immediately sold out instantaneously. I have got some of those coins from the very first day of issue, which is what this coin is. Okay, this is first day of issue. Sadly, because the uh, uh, San Francisco Mint doesn't usually make silver eagles, and because they rushed it, they did not grade very well. So the big thing is, is this is Mint State 70, which is perfect. They say in coin collecting to buy the best possible grade that you can afford. Well, 70 is perfect. That matters. It's a big difference in value. If you look at the first... San Francisco Minted Eagle, the 1986. In Mint State 69, in Mint State 69, that coin's about this price, about $139.95. In Mint State 70, it's about $599. That's the difference grade makes. So what you have right here is that San Francisco Minted Coin, the emergency issue coin, in absolutely perfect condition, First day of issue annex, 100% exclusive to us, and we have our absolute final quantity. There were 3,200 and change of this. I've only aired this like two other times. I believe our quantities right now are well under a thousand coins. I'm assuming this could, this may well be our final prime time presentation. This coin is that historically significant, and I've held my price. This was my original issue price. Well, and, and to that point, Mike, uh, you can see the quantity left at the bottom of your screen, fewer than 900. Remember, as always, 30-day return policy, but we do not, we are not limiting quantities. So you could do flex pay multiple times if you're considering getting more than one of these, which I know a lot of you out there are. And the other thing about this is too, you know, as, as we move forward, certainly it's a historic and, and wild time across the world. And certainly, you know, here in America, this is, um, it, when I say these are little time capsules, it's it's like a, a little rem remembrance of of just the last year, if 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 nothing else. Let alone the collectability and and the rarity, the scarcity, and just the whole story behind this. So I really hope that you consider it. Um, also, Mike, with regard to the big green box, so when we talk about the San Francisco Mint and the chain of command in terms of first day of issue and making sure, you know, what we say is what we say, um, what's the relevance of the green box with regard to this particular coin? Well, here's what happens. The United States Mint does not release these coins to the general public. They only release them through a series of what are called authorized purchasers. These coins come to those authorized purchasers in these boxes that you see right here. See that green box? They are then sealed. This coin, while it was struck at San Francisco, does not have a San Francisco mint mark. The United States Mint does that on purpose. They want their American silver eels to be homogeneous is what they say. But they do mark the box when it's sealed so that we know that coins are San Francisco or West Point. So there's a strap that goes around that coin, and then the box is numbered, and we know what the box numbers are, and the straps give us information and all as well. And then those strapped boxes go to the grading companies. They then open them up under a pretty significant security, and then they establish the provenance where this coin comes from. So that's how we know that this is a San Francisco minted coin. Understand you cannot buy a San Francisco minted coin that is not certified. They all have to be certified. So when you look at this last coin in the series, when you look at this last coin in the series, the San Francisco, this emergency mint, is going to be 20 times roughly rarer than the West Point minted coin. It is a big deal. It is a huge deal because this is the last coin in the series. This is the last mint state coin. And they're all they're on the cusp of already starting to make type twos. Now, 
When I talk about the, the rarity and scarcity and shortage of these coins, the fact that the United States Mint can't keep up with the demand of the West Point Mint coins, and of course the San Francisco Mint coins, where they made one, there was one allocation, it sold out immediately, so there's no more catching up with that. What's made is made, what's done is done. That was before the insanity of the silver market of the last 72 hours. That just adds to the whole, uh, to the whole insanity of this whole thing. And that's getting bigger and more important and more desirable. So we have these coins. We had those coins. That's why I have this price. My price did not go up. Everybody else that's basically selling American Silver Eagles, their price Friday is not their price today. They have either raised their price substantially, or they have taken it down where they will not sell it, or they are out of stock, period. We held this, in essence, because that's what we do. We've been here. I've been here 20 years. And the, way, the reason I've been here 20 years is when I buy the coins, if, you know, no matter what happens, I hold the price until I sell out the edition, particularly, particularly with the first day of issues. So this is what I released this coin at, and I'm holding this till the very end. Now, sadly, the very end at this point is only 788 coins and going down dramatically. We started with the better part of 900 or 1,000, and already hundreds, a couple hundred of these coins are gone because it's not only the last coin in the series. Not only is it the legacy coin, the transition coin, which is the most popular Silver Eagle that the United States Mint has ever made, but it's a tiny little subset of that. That was made at the San Francisco Mint. Now add in the fact that it's just a silver coin, anything silver right now. I mean, you know, it doesn't matter. Silver anything is collectible. Silver anything is getting chased down. But then you add in, so you have the silver, an ounce of pure silver in this. You have the fact that it's the mo one of the most historic and most significant numismatic coins made by the United States government in the last half century. Then you have that as a tiny slice or a microcosm of the of the coins that were being made by the United States Mint, as you have all of the Mint State American Silver Eagles, well, the S Mint is just this tiny little sliver of the coin. So you have rarity within rarity on top of desirability, and then every single solitary coin is certified perfect. And then, of course, Annex, first day of issue, is exclusive. You have perfect exclusivity. You've got coins individually numbered. You've got absolute perfection. You've got the last in the era. You've got the transition coin, the legacy coin. I mean, all of those things is the reason these are selling like hotcakes. What, I, mean, what, I mean, case in point, like you said, um, we started with almost 1,000. We're now at the final 700, give or take. Once more, we're not limiting quantities. Flex pay is applicable whether you buy one or two or three or four. We're, you know, just keep that in mind. You can do that flex pay, you know, a number of different times. You still get that 30-day return policy. So you can not only shop with confidence, but in terms of this being a legacy coin, I mean, let alone, you know, just the intrinsic value and the collectability and the price, which is really remarkable. I look at this as those those little time capsules. You know, um, you are a historian, Mike. I'm kind of the historian in my family. I've always kind of been the archivist, for lack of a better term. You know, I'm the keeper of the photos and the keeper right. of the stories. And I, I still remember, I mean, I, I, I would spend hours talking to my grandparents, you know, about the depression. And, you know, you talk about the Spanish flu. And because I, I, I collected all those stories as a kid growing up. And this is a capsule, think of it as a capsule coin collection, all encased and encapsulated literally in that great little um, holder for this show. Uh, listen, I, I know Mike is back with a today's special on February 16th, which was kind of nice to do the, the little release details from you on that. But in all likelihood, I, I certainly anticipate this will be the final on air presentation. I know that a lot of you shop after the fact and go to hsn.com and we always want you to shop with confidence. But um, in particular, I know you learn a lot with Mike, but if you can make your buying decision on this now, I would really recommend or encourage you to do so. And Mike, it's, it's, it's just when I say um, that you are such a historian, I, I, you know, never say never. We can't, you know, anticipate or say that we'll, we'll that we, well, certainly, 
I mean, I, I, at my age, I certainly <laughs> hope I don't have to worry about living through anything like, you know, we've been going through in the last uh, year, you know, 12, 14 months. But this is just really a unique moment or marker of history in addition to everything else, isn't it? Well, there's no doubt. And I mean, you know, when it comes to 2020, I mean, let's face it, you know, uh, one, you know, uh, the review of 20, uh, one star do not recommend, um, you know, I, I mean, I think that's clearly, clearly the case, but what it has created is a numismatic opportunity. So I guess, you know, when, when you get lemons, let's make lemonade, right, it is ultimately what it comes down to. And from a numismatic standpoint, it has created some pretty incredible numismatic opportunity because you now have got this legacy coin that's going to be both both coins are going to be made in the same year. So you're going to have the last coin and the first coin both dated 2021. The United States government has done that a couple of times in its history, uh, and they have become kind of some of the icons, the numismatic icons of, of all the collections that are out there. They haven't done it in many, many, many years, particularly a coin of the collector's significance that the American Silver Eagle is. Very, very, very high on the list in terms of, uh, in terms of collectability. And with this change and it's literally going to be once in a lifetime and, and what i mean by that is this is it took 35 years that this is how the american silver eagle has looked it's looked like this for 35 years by law after they change it in about july of this year by law they cannot change it again for 25 years wow. so for me certainly this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to sell the design change in the american silver eagle because there's a lot of things i can be certain of and one of them is 25 years from now i will not be on hsn selling coins uh, uh that's a that's a that's a given so when it when i when i sound really excited about this it's because it's that historic of an event the fact that they are changing this. And then it's not just that you get the last coin. Understand they made this tiny little extra batch of coins only at the San Francisco Mint, and that's what this coin is. Because this is that emergency issue struck at San Francisco. That is a big deal. So when I'm out there in the marketplace right now where it doesn't matter, S Mint, W Mint, they're all sold out. So if they're all sold out, why not get the one that is in, in every respect rarer and more difficult to get, and you've got it exclusively through us with our first day of issue. And its first day of issue, of course, is 100% exclusive to us. You have it certified absolutely perfect. You put all of that together, and this is a, a, an absolute easy coin to make a decision on from a collecting standpoint, in my opinion, as hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these have been spoken for very simply, very simply because of its historic significance. And then you put it in the context of what's happening from a collecting standpoint as the most popular Silver Eagle ever. Now put in this whole sil run on silver prices and so on and so forth for you to have the opportunity to buy this at our original issue price. I think is a real is it, it, something I'm really proud to be able to do, and obviously uh, people have responded pretty pretty substantially here. They have indeed, and for a lot of reasons, this this checks every box. I mean, it really does. It checks every box in terms of new collector, avid collector, novice collector. Doesn't matter. Checks really every box. I mean, from condition, you know, availability, first day of issue certified it is what it is it's here mike held the price 30-day return policy uh last 600 actually i think maybe fewer than 600 now and once more we are not limiting quantities so definitely something that i would really hope that you consider especially if you are new i know you learned a lot from mike in those last couple of moments but certainly you should act you, you know we can't get it to you unless you take action and i can pretty much promise you that is the last on-air presentation even if there are a few remaining i am confident in saying they will all sell out at hsn.com hey uh speaking of reminders uh, for you though if you were trying to get through on our w and s mint the two the duo uh oh last 100 last 100 hey mike just a, a quick bullet point on this in case people missed the presentation yeah, well this one right here like i was talking about the estimate the uh, the single estimate first day of issue is 139 dollars you can add that west point mint so these are the two mint state coins now, there's more of the West Point Mint, but you can see on a price standpoint, it's lesser money. There's only 2,021 of these match-numbered sets 
of these match numbered sets that you're going to have right here. But here's the problem, okay? Here's the problem. I have, what, 100 sets left? So, I mean, we've sold 1,900 sets. We've sold 1,900 sets. So that's why you need to get in and take advantage of that right here, uh, uh, right now, is to be able to get that particular coin set with less than 100 remaining. Obviously, this will be the very last primetime presentation of the two coin of the two coin set. Okay, final 100 indeed. Uh, boy, gosh, these shows go so quickly. Last 20 minutes of our Power Hour with the King of Coins, Mike Mizak here at HSN. I can see them start to set up. Uh, of course, Adam is coming up with his open house show that you'll see every Monday at 9 p.m. here at HSN. Uh, I'll actually be back in the house on Friday with my, my house show at 7 p.m. So we've got lots of things going on in your home, and we thank you for welcoming mean us in now Mike I it, it, it's like your kids you're not supposed to play favorites this is one <laughs> of my favorite things that you do and maybe it's because I grew up my my grandpa Smith always used to he used to give us silver Kennedys I mean that was you know I in fact I know I probably still have a few on um, my parents farm somewhere but grandpa never gave me a whole roll now listen right. I yeah. mean, I mean, I'm sure he was a nice guy. He right? was a great guy, <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, I mean, you know, an entire roll of those is a, is a pretty substantial is a pretty substantial kind of thing. So here's ultimately what we look at on this. There's silver Kennedy half dollars. I'm done. You roll with it. <laughs> oh, and that then was good. You know, go ahead. No, no. Uh, this comes back to the the thing I've been harping on for two hours is the fact that it's silver. Everything silver is insane right now. So these are the last of the silver Kennedys. These haven't been made. They haven't put silver in a Kennedy half dollar in a half century. These are the last of the silver Kennedy half dollars. Now, here's the problem. Normally, I have 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 these. I sell these like they're going out of stock. I have like 470 to go around. That's it. Because these also <clears throat> have disappeared. These have also disappeared. We are now down to silver half dollars at 13 and a half dollars a piece. Now, the nationally advertised catalog still has these at 20, so a $400 value, but I can promise you that that is an older catalog that does not take into account the cataclysmic events uh, in the silver market over the last 72 hours. I have no idea where that'll take us. I know that demand for physical silver, demand for boxes of silver eagles and so on and so forth has been absolutely stunning, has been absolutely unlike anything we have ever seen. And so the fact is, is I only have what I had in stock. I wasn't able to get any more of these. If I was, the price would be another $100 higher. These uh, Kennedy half dollars, and like I said, so on top of this, not only are you getting these 20 silver Kennedy half dollars from the 1960s, but they have numismatic significance as well because they are all also brilliant, uncirculated condition. So you get the silver in these, and I'm basically charging the silver price at $279.95, the silver price at $279.95, but you get that numismatic value, the brilliant uncirculated part of that at no additional cost or charge. Every one of these, like I said, over a half century old. Every one of these is going to be over a half century old. And so that is... Uh, you know, so, so you get the historic significance of the first, uh, the first of the Kennedys, last of the silver Kennedys that you're going to get with this. So you get that intrinsic value. You have the historic value. And then, of course, the numismatic value, given the fact they're still collectible as coins. Now, here's the unknown thing about this and, and, and what a lot of people don't know. And this comes from just years and years and years in the business. Because silver is so hot right now. What they will do is people will take these coins and they'll melt them. And people always say, well, you can't destroy U.S. You can absolutely destroy U.S. coins. Okay, you can absolutely melt silver U.S. coins. And so they melt these coins. And so what happens is, is they get, there you go, you give them it. 
I am. We gotta see. You we gonna hear that? Yeah. There's nothing like that sound of silver. It's like ringing a bell. Uh, that's why there's silver in bells. I, I, I love that. And so what you've got is your opportunity to own silver, and with a coin that literally gets rarer and rarer and rarer with each and every passing day. It, it, it does indeed. In fact, it's interesting. I'm watching a series um, called 30 Coins. And yeah. uh, it's it's it, it's true, though. Um, when, when you see a coin like in your pocket, when you see, you know, a coin that you're putting in the vending machine, might look like silver, don't sound like silver. This is silver. <laughs> so well, that's how you can tell. You can literally, you can, if you, you know, you have your change in, in your pocket, yep. and if you just, you know, or, or in your purse, you can hear a silver coin. You can. You can. You can hear. You know something's different. You know something's collectible. You know something is valuable. So, like I said, the numismatic value of this four hundred dollars for these twenty coins. We're getting it to you for amounts to what is amounts to the silver value right now. With silver being up, let me see. Over the last week, silver's up twenty five percent, roughly twenty five percent over the last week or so. Uh, with this, and who knows what's going to happen? Who knows where it's going? Who knows what's going to happen when all of this craziness uh, uh, starts going out there? Uh, I, I don't know the end result of this. Like I said, all I know is almost every single solitary coin dealer that I know in the United States today sold every silver coin they had in stock that they were willing to sell. Wow. I mean, I mean, every single solitary one of them sold every coin. And I had, I had a, a good friend of mine who has a big shop, and you know, in, in, in a big city in Texas. And he was basically out of silver. And there's an older gentleman that came in and said, uh, are you buying silver? He just says, oh, yeah, I'm buying silver. And, I mean, the guy brought in literally a wheelbarrow load. And it actually ended up being about three wheelbarrow loads. It was over a half a million dollars worth of silver coins. He bought it on the spot and sold it before the end of the day. I bet. Piece by piece by piece to everybody out there. I mean, literally doing millions of dollars in business in a single solitary day, unlike anything that I have ever seen and most dealers have ever experienced. I mean, I experienced the great silver run-up of 1979, but that was gradual. It was over time, and that was the last time somebody tried to corner the silver market. It was the Hunt Brothers in Texas who tried to corner the silver market in 1979 that took the price to $50, but that took, and they would have, actually, had they not changed the rules on them in the middle of the game and but that was a more gradual thing that wasn't in essence what amounts to an overnight sensation which is to some degree what the internet allows us is a complete and total overnight sensation a overnight moving of markets is what happens with this and if silver is the next target who knows what's going to happen i don't know if it is or isn't i don't even uh, you know i don't know anything that's an s i didn't understand the stock part of this i don't really understand the silver part of it i only stay understand and the coin part of it, okay? All I know is coins are really, really hard to get, and silver coins are even harder to get. That's what I know. So, I, you know, I stick with what you know. Well, yeah, I mean, no, all I know is it just felt good. I mean, just, just hold on to all that silver. It just felt good. Maybe feel right. good. It did. Um, so, again, we, we have what we have. I think you saw the quantity left, about 400, um, give or take. Of course, that doesn't take into consideration the manner, method, you know, how people are ordering. Boy, I, it certainly uh, brings up a lot of really good memories for me of my grandpa and how he used to, you know, like every birthday, Christmas, you know, he'd give us a, a, a silver Kennedy. And, you know, you get yours, you get a whole roll of them. And, you know, like Mike said, we certainly we can't control a lot of things in life. Certainly can't control what's happening in the world of silver in particular. But we do have yours now. Um, there was a time where I used to do these silver Kennedy rolls with Mike all the time. That time is long since past. 
So if you're watching and shopping, it's an opportunistic time for you to grab what we have of that. That, that would really be a nice um, pay it forward or legacy item if you're looking to get a young person started off with coin collecting or just maybe re revisit some pleasant memories for someone like myself, you know, who grew up coin, either not even coin collecting, maybe that's just the, a coin that you had that you love. Hey, by the way, we think you're gonna love our HSN card, $10 off when you apply and buy and you're always welcome to check with our sales and service representatives on that. Um, if you were trying to get through on the W and S Mint, um, I think we are down to less than one per state. So you can check with your service representative for details on that. We'll probably, I don't know if we'll be able to stamp it sold out, but that is also in final quantities. Um, we have the final few minutes with Mike Mizak, the king of coins here at HSN. Adam's coming up with his open house. I'll be back on Friday with my Shannon's in the house. And we started the gift card giveaway last week. So we've got a, a fun shenanigans going on there. But Mike, when I was talking about the, the silver Kennedys, how we used to do a lot of those together, we used to do a lot of these, what I call wall of coins. <laughs> you know? We used to do, you know, like every show we'd have at least one wall of coins. Well, we're bringing back the oldies, but we're bringing it back with the state quarters, which is also something that you really um, set America's ear. Uh, you, you really created the platform of education for a lot of people in the state quarters. But let's talk about our wall of coins here. And not for nothing, Look at that price cut, huh? Yeah, uh, that's kind of, it's almost silly. Uh, but I figure I, I'm obligated here to do one non-silver item in every hour. Because <laughs> it still is an important part of coin collecting, believe it or not. Uh, and so it just makes it so difficult. So here's, what, here's ultimately what this comes down to and what I always talk about. This is basically you get to collect or buy coins in essence. You're getting to buy coins like a coin dealer. You get to buy like a coin dealer is really what it uh, is really what it comes down to. And here's what I mean by that. Proof coins, and these are all proof sets. So what proof coins are is proof is not a uh, condition but a method of manufacturing. They're made differently. They're made specifically and exclusively for collectors. These coins that you see here are only available in these sets that you see right here in front of you. This, and I only have 200 of these sets to go around. So you can only buy them right here out of these original sets. Now, every single one of these, because it's 1999 through 2009, so they're all well over 10, 10 to 20 years old, are, are completely and totally sold out from the United States Mint. I picked these years because it was all of the years of the state quarters. Starting in 1999, the last of the state quarters was made in 2008, and then you had the territorial quarters that came out in 2009. So these were the special proof sets. The incredible part of this is, is there's 11 years here. There's 11 sets here. So you're down to about $27 a set, which is basically, I think, a little bit less than the original issue price from the United States Mint from 1999 through 2009. So you get every single one of those for about $27 a set. HSN price $4.99, we take $200 off, and so you get them for about $27 a set. But here's the thing. People collect proof coins. And so what you have is, let's say, a Kennedy half-dollar collector. He needs to get proof coins, and the only way he can do that is out of these sets. Somebody literally has to break open one of these sets with a hammer, okay, with a hammer and pull these coins out. It's the only way to do it. It's the only way to get it, uh, to be able to buy these coins individually. And so that is why you so rarely see these complete sets like this in the original government packaging. Because at the end of the day, in all honesty, it is far more profitable, far more profitable to break these open and sell them individually and sell them individually. I think the perfect example of that is the last two years in the set. Not the first two years, the oldest ones, but the last two years, the 2009 and the 2008. The 2009 set is all of those coins on the bottom row. There's four lenses in there that is the last set, the $27 set from 2009. 
And if you look at that, you have the uh, uh, the pennies in there all the way down on the end. That was the 100th anniversary. You remember the United States Mint likes to do uh, uh, commemoratives? That's the 100th anniversary of the United States Mint uh, uh, making the Lincoln cent. Well, those coins are part of the set. They're $13.50 a piece. So those four pennies are $52. Remember, you're paying $27 for the whole set. Right next to that is the uh, uh, presidential dollars in proof condition from that same year. Those coins are $8 a piece, another $32. And then if you go down before that, then you have the uh, territorial quarters. And I think those are $6.95 a piece, another $40. And then you have the, the Kennedy half dollar and all that. So at the end of the day, you have about, I think it's about $175 just coin by coin for the last one. The, the, the very 2009. But then if you look at 2008, right up above that, that's the last year of the state quarters. It is the most difficult part of the state quarter set. And if you look at just those state quarters, those five state quarters, 1850, 1850, 1850, 1850, and $26, it's almost $100 just for the state quarters. Add in that Kennedy half dollar is $45. The, uh, uh, the other dollars in that set, the, the, um, the presidential dollars, are $11.95. So basically the 2008 set is over $200 by itself. So just the 2008 and 2009, you're looking at about $400 on a coin-by-coin -coin basis. And I actually added them all up. And coin by coin, if you would break them all up, and people say, well, who breaks them up? Almost everybody's the answer. Because you want to sell the Lincoln cents, you want to sell the nickels and the dimes and the quarters and the half dollars. It is over a thousand dollars, over a thousand dollars coin by coin, over a thousand dollars, and we'll get it to you for two. I, I mean, at four ninety nine, it's a spectacular opportunity. At two hundred and ninety nine dollars, it's like going back in, in a numismatic time capsule and buying all these fancy fantastic sets because you forgot to buy them at the same price that the mint charged back in the day. That's the deal with this. Now, here's the problem. I have about 180 or so of these sets left. It's a lot to digest. I understand you're getting over $1,000 worth of the coins. There's 127 coins in the deal. You're paying less than $3 a coin. There's barely a coin in here that sells for $3. That's why they're all going to be over $1,000 on a coin-by-coin -coin basis, over $1,000. And so what happens is people wait after I've been you know, uh, babbling here for about six or seven minutes, and you wait to call in, and the problem is if you wait too long, there's simply not enough quantity because I have a mere 200 sets to go around. Every one of them in the original government packaging, every single one of them in the original lenses, every single one of them in the original proof condition, just as they were released from the United States Mint 10 to 20 years ago. Unbelievable. And, you know, the thing is, Mike, um, as a lot of people realize, a lot of people shop after the fact. I just really want to encourage you, make your buying decision now, though, because it, it was already a great value if you go by that coin-by-coin -coin basis when it was at the original original asking price of $4.99 to take $200 off this, as Mike might say, is just silly. So if you can, definitely jump in and grab yours while we still have it available. I know that clock is getting ready to expire. Also, just a quick reminder, if you were interested, did the sil so um, Kevin, I think on the W and S Mint, we have five dozen only, five dozen only on that W and S Mint set. So you know the other one that we had last hour sold out in record time. When those are gone, they are gone. $83.32 on your credit card, 750199. Don't hang up on the wall coins. If you're one of the next 100 people, give or take, you can take advantage of that. Um, definitely remember, still 30-day return policy. Mike, February 16th is the big day that you're back. That's it. Midnight. Midnight. I mean, because we've got a, a, an, un, an unintended today's special in coins because I had something come up. You will not be able to buy any place else on the planet. It's going to be 100 percent exclusive. And actually, our today only value will also be 100 percent exclusive. I think it could well be the greatest day of coins I've ever, ever, ever been able to do. And it kicks off midnight, midnight on February the 16th.
Well, Mike, you don't throw down that hyperbole without good intent. So I'm gonna be waiting. I love ya. Be safe out there, Mike. Thank you. Um, well, speaking of people I love, Adam's up next. I'll see you Friday. See you Friday. Get the best deals on the things you love with the HSN card. As an HSN card VIP, you'll get all kinds of perks, like 12-month VIP financing on select items, plus extra flex on beauty, jewelry, shoe, and fashion purchases all day every day. And at least eight VIP savings events a year. Includes fraud protection, and there's no annual fee. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash hsncard. Get ready to shop for treasures that sparkle, shine, and mystify from around the globe during HSN's Tucson Gem Event. From traditional Southwest styles and stone beading to inlay, precious gemstones, and more. Whether you're a rock hound, a gem aficionado, or just plain love jewelry, the Tucson Gem Event is a must-see, must-shop stop on your jewelry treasure hunt. Starting Thursday at 11 p.m. A year anniversary, I can't believe it, as my dear Auntie Ella used to say. Here we are again.